So if epithelium is lining a space, what, why? Why would we possibly want cells to line spaces? What, what function might they carry out there? To illustrate this, I'm going to actually draw you a tube, and we're going to, um, whoa, it's a little bit of a curly tube. Of course it is. Can you see how, though, it's a tube? And this is the lumen of my tube. In fact, I'll label the lumen so that you remember that a lumen is nothing more than the inside space found in a tube. Since it is a space, you know what kind of tissue are we going to find along this edge. That's an easy one, isn't it? It's going to be epithelial tissue. Let's review. Each one of these is a cell. I'm not drawing it. Um, the type of epithelial tissue, we're going to do that next. But each one of these things is a cell. Here are my cell nuclei. You get the idea, yes? All right. Tell me, where is the apical edge of the cell? Right here is the apical. That says apical because you remember that apical is the edge that lines the lumen. The side of the epithelial tissue that is touching the space is called the apical edge. What was the other edge called? This edge over here was the basolateral side of the cell. Basolateral. Okay. What was found, what structure was found on the basolateral side of the cell? Yes, my friends, indeed, this right here is called the basement membrane, BM for short. Now, let's see if we can figure out um, some things that the epithelial tissue might do in this particular scenario. First of all, I was imagining, you know, I live in a house full of Y chromosomes, my husband and my two boys. And we're playing Pictionary right now. Who am I drawing? I know exactly what that is. Dude, that's Darth Vader. What are you talking about? Of course it's Darth Vader. If Darth Vader was in this space outside of your body, and you had epithelial tissue lining the space, what might be a function of the epithelial tissue? Of course. You, do you want Darth Vader getting into your body? No, thank you. Let's call one of the functions of epithelium protection. It, if there's this, like, force field and my epithelial tissue is thick and maybe um, dead and a preventing Darth Vader from getting in, then it serves a protective function. So one of the functions of epithelial tissue can be protection. Sometimes there are things like, you know, Darth Vader uh, drops some money in the lumen of this space because, you know, that happens all the time. And if Darth Vader drops money in, dude, we better absorb something. Absorption. My kids could watch this lecture now because we've included Darth Vader in it and his money that we're absorbing through the epithelial tissue into your actual body cells themselves. Of course, is there money in your diet? Well, there might be. I have Y chromosome small humans, and so they've probably eaten money at one point or another, which is a very disturbing thing to think about. But more likely, they're eating food, nutrients that we want to absorb. One of the functions of the epithelial tissue is to allow the absorption of stuff from the outside into the body. Sometimes the epithelium can say, you know what, we need to get rid of some stuff. And that is called secretion. And there's various things that can be secreted into spaces. Secretion is when the cell, the epithelium, can carry out secretion. 
and send something from inside it out. For example, mucus. Dude, that's the best, like, take this mucus Darth and head on out of here. Because if we secreted a whole bunch of mucus and we absorbed all his money, it's going to get slippery and gnarly in there, and he's just going to, like, slip out. And then that illustrates our final function of epithelial tissue, which is excretion. Yes, I now will excrete Darth out of my lumen of my tube in my body, and the epithelial tissues can help make that happen. So functions, we had protection, don't let Darth in, absorption, get his money in, secretion, why don't you throw some mucus out there so we can excrete him and get him the heck out. Those are four functions of epithelial tissue. We will now look at how we're going to classify epithelial tissue, and we'll look at how the structures, we're going to classify them by structure, and we'll look at how the structures enable a function. Structure determines function. Repeat after me. Structure determines function. You should say that over and over until you're like, that's all you're saying. In your dreams, your dreaming structure determines function because that is the biggest theme of anatomy. I'll be right back and we'll classify some epithelial tissues.